Welcome back to another episode on b Hole Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In today's episode, we have another podcast with, of course, our fellow people with Logan. Say hi. Buenos dias. Logan here. And then CeeLo. And today's episode, we're going to talk about some gaming news to start off with, with Bonnie Ross leaving 343 Studios, Ooh. the head of 343, and the um, create well the person who was in charge of Halo since Bungie left. All right. Oh, okay. The games that they were they had to partake was Halo Four, Halo Five, and of course Halo Infinite right now. Now. With her departure and the chaos in 343 right now with no content at all for Halo Infinite. Well, what was her reason for leaving? To 20, tw- her reason for leaving was uh, family issues. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have a feeling she was going to be pushed out anyways, to be honest. Uh, but she left early for family issues. And if that's true, definitely we wish the best for her. Uh, and there's, I mean, it's terrible to leave on those So it's quote unquote family issues, right? That's what you're thinking. Well, no, she she announced it was uh, family issues. Okay. And of course, we do wish the best for her. We, I mean, it's it's hard to deal with that at the same time. But new person in charge of Halo is the ex. Well, he, he used to be. He came back to three four three. He left three four three. Came back in charge of um, the Master Chief Collection, and you know that started out really bad. And he came in and took over, and was able to right the ship on that one. Now, the real question is, should we give 343 another chance or just give this Halo franchise to another studio? What do you think, CeeLo? I think it's a great opportunity for new direction in Halo. Because, you know, I've been playing Halo since I was uh, a young child. (laughs) And, uh, you know, I'm kind of bored with the series. I think that they need to inject uh, some new ideas. So I think it's great. So you think that um, they should stick with 343 or just go to another studio? Uh, they should stick with 343. Just for the time being, right? No, for, from this point on. Forever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you think, uh, um, Logan? Uh, I see them maybe trying uh, what... Um... What Call of Duty did, you know, they have the two different teams on um, doing Call of Duty uh, alternating years. Maybe they can do something like that. Uh, actually, they probably do that with uh, with the um, Halo Wars, right? Halo Wars and uh, all the other spinoffs. Yeah, definitely. They so have different those, studios those for different that. teams. Yeah. Uh, so they could do something like that, I guess, if they want, like... Uh, if they want to please the uh, the masses who criticize three four three, you know uh, the job that they've done recently with all the uh, with Halo Infinite and with uh, what did you what was that the collection right? Yeah, uh, Master Master Chief Chief collection. it started out really bad yeah. where there was glitches, um, online issues. Um, um, they did they take a while to make it better. Like for me, when I look at three four three, my bet my favorite game, like my favorite first person shooter of all time, is uh, Halo Four. Really, I had a lot of fun with the campaign, but the multiplayer, you know, I got destroyed. So I'm not really into multiplayer as much. I'm really more into the campaign. So when I played Halo Five, you know, I didn't really get to play Master Chief as much because it was a totally different campaign and story. So I didn't really like that. But I heard the multiplayer was excellent. Now with um, Halo Infinite. I thought the campaign was pretty good. Um, I had no problems with it. I can't wait to play with you guys later on on uh, with um, online campaign one of these days. But um, overall, you know, um, with no content, it's worrisome. You know, you don't. The one thing I do worry about is watching other, you know, games succeed where they're all like like the Fortnites, you know, the free service ones, the service games, you know, and uh, Minecraft or whatever. And I can't. See, and Halo's I'm failing. That they're headed towards. Yeah, Halo's like they're failing towards, though, right? Uh, so it's it's hard to see that consoles. I, it's another question here: is why can't consoles get it right? I mean, um, Fortnite started off on PC, right? Before it came on, uh, probably the consoles. 
But why does a PC free service gaming, they seem to get it right, whereas console gaming does not. I mean, you saw um, the Avengers with Square Enix. They tried to do a free service with that game. Mm. That failed. I mean, yeah. the campaign I liked, yeah. but the overall free service failed. Same thing with this new game, um, The Fall of Babylon from Square Enix as well. Uh, they failed. They're going to close shop on February 23rd. The game has only been released for like five months. I mean, and then we're looking at Halo going the same route. If they don't come up with some more, um, obviously they're going to put money into it. I have a feeling that they're going to be okay because you're going to put a lot of money into it. But in the end, you know, it sounds like that just the consoles can't do free service games. I mean, because, yeah, because they're going to make their money anyway on the console. So there's no pressure for them to, you know, put together a, a good quality product, right? Because either way, people are still going to buy it, right? Like the NBA 2Ks, right? People still buy that every year, even though, you know, the changes are not that different year to year, right? And also the budget, the budgets for console games, I think, are way larger than uh, like Fortnite, right? Like how much, how much? I'm talking about like the bud, their initial budget, like what they actually spent developing the game. Like they would, they spent way more money developing a, Avengers. Square spent more, way more money uh, developing Avengers than uh, Epic doing Fortnite, right? Oh yeah. That's no, true. so you you would you you couldn't. I don't think you can you can make profit doing a, a free service uh, for an Avenger game. You'll uh you'll lose money right away. Right. I mean, Avengers was a mostly a, a campaign first, and then a free service later, right? I will not. Yeah. I wouldn't call it a free service, but I mean, because you have to pay for the game. But um, yeah. but it was like a, a service game because uh, I mean, they did have more content in Halo. I mean, for sure, <laughs> their first year. But um, but yeah, it's just kind of funny how I'm just watching this happen where. And I, I feel like it's pretty funny how um, how the consoles can't catch up where, you know, uh, there is more content on Avengers, surprisingly, right, than Halo right now. But in the end, what CeeLo said was correct. Uh, I believe I, I that the console makers already got the money. You know, whatever amount it was, you know, like you pay 50 bucks, 60 bucks, 70 bucks now, right? They got the initial price in there out of the way. Now they want them to spend more money on microtransactions, which has been popular as of late. And now they're trying to do free, the service game, you know, to add to it so that they keep playing the game, you know, yeah. to make it like a subscription. Yeah. Like GTA Online. Just like yeah. GTA Online. And GTA Online, Online started out, I believe it was free, right? I'm not sure. I got to look that up, but I'm not sure if it would ever yeah. cost money. And I'm thinking because you had to buy the game. It just came with it. And I'm wondering if um, the money was all just, uh, you know, uh, microtransactions and such, and all everything to do with the game itself. And I think they actually they are a console um, game that went really far. So and they're still going, right? They're going still going right. strong. Yep. Well, I think they're just. I think they're just gonna. They just announced that they're gonna end it soon to work on GTA Six. Well, that's cash cow. I wonder. They probably end it. They'll probably merge it. Is what I think. They'll probably merge it when GTA 6 comes out, and then, of course, you got to do a GTA 6 multiplayer or whatever, right, online. And then they'll probably just merge the game. Yeah, and, um, right, right. I don't think they're going to do a Destiny route because Destiny was Destiny 1, and then they figured out all their problems, and then Destiny 2 came out, and that was the main one. You know, and then Destiny 1 kind of just faded away. But they'll have to merge all the players because you don't want to start yeah. with a new player base, right? So hopefully that works that way. Right. Yeah. That's true. Well, yeah. Well, but they, but they make they make money off of uh, uh, game game companies. They make money off of DLC. I don't think there's any. Uh, I don't think there's any company that loses money off. Uh, you know, like how uh, Destiny is. How they release. Uh, oh yeah, that, but that's their expansion. way of bringing content, you know, to their service, right? Because Destiny Two is for free free to play now. Um, and they keep bringing in content. Of course, you gotta play for you gotta pay for those um, DLC, right? Like whatever it is like twenty dollars or thirty dollars, whatever it might be, or forty dollars, right? But it's much yeah. lower at the cost, and you're getting the content yep. to go with it. But you know, I do I do uh, um, agree also with um, Logan about maybe seeing another um, company take over uh, Halo, 
I mean, wouldn't it be fantastic to see one of the Call of Duty companies take over like a Halo just to see how what they could do with it? I mean, just or even just a side quest or something, a side mission, uh, like you know the other people in Halo besides Master Chief, right? But in the same universe. Yeah. I mean, they are yeah. great at what they do in the campaign for sure. I mean, they have those big moments, as we know with uh, Call of Duty. And that'd be kind of cool to see how what they can do with Halo. I mean, that just boggles the mind there. But yeah. moving on, we have another question. Um, I'm actually, let you guys know, I'm going to Taiwan soon um, to visit some family out there. Yeah, in January. Really? And what? I got to bring some kind of console with me. You know, it made me start to think, you know, I have all these new um, handhelds play all these retro games now, right? So I'm looking to um, probably pick something up. But it brought me to the question on, wow, how many handhelds did we own in our history, you know, in the past, you know? For me, and what was our favorite one? My favorite one for me was the PSP. Um, I love that sim to death. I have so many games. I actually bought movies for it that I'll probably never watch ever again. But, um, and I even like, uh, play, I even emulated a little bit with some of the old arcade games, you know, um, what was your guys' uh, favorite, um, handheld, right? Hey, CeeLo, what was yours? I have only had two handhelds in my life. I had the Atari Lynx <laughs> and, and the Nintendo Switch. Those are the only two. Oh, so I mean, I guess I like the Lynx a lot. Right, because it was my first one, and I didn't know any better. Does the nomad? Uh, does the nomad count? Yeah, I was gonna say I. So I borrowed a mine. nomad, a Sega nomad, from a friend of mine, <laughs> and uh, I, I, broke I broke my it, nomad. And then I gave it back to him, and I pretended <laughs> like it was already broken. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, it wasn't able to take batteries anymore. Right, I don't think he used the uh, AC adapter, but you know. It might have been a good thing because that Nomad sucked up so many, so much of that life from batteries. I could play like what two hours with uh, all those four batteries or six batteries. I can't remember how many it was. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's Lynx. You know, I was almost gonna buy that smaller version of the Lynx, the Lynx Two. I, I think it was called. Yeah, they had a Lynx Two. Yeah, the, the first, first one was, was like a brick. Uh, well, bigger. It was actually like, oh, bigger than a brick. Oh, yeah, you're right. I remember now. I would say it's like, if you take the yeah. PS5 and you cut it in half vertically, that's a uh, Lynx. <laughs> yeah. It's a Lynx. It was pretty big. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my DJ friend had it, uh, the first Atari. <laughs> yeah. But that was a good system. It, it had its moments. Um, I just feel like it was very powerful. It just didn't have developers to make anything for it. Um. Because you can see what yeah, happened yeah, with yeah. the Game Gear. I mean, Game Gear killed it. Um, I also had a Game Gear as well, being a Sega fan. I had Game Gear and Nomad. Um, but uh, the Nomad, I played a lot just for the Sega Master System games with the converter. That was fun playing like games like Black Belt just over and over again because of the gameplay. But then um, I didn't really play much for the Genesis version except for Streets of Rage. Because everything was just too tiny at that time. You know, the screen was so small. So... Yeah. I think yeah, the was PSP was the first time for me, at least, because the screen was much bigger. That it just it just wowed me. What about you, Logan? Uh, I've had a handful of handhelds. Uh, I've had a um, what was my first handheld? Oh yeah, the OG Game Boy. I've had a Neo Geo Pocket, the, oh. the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Uh, never had a Game Gear. Oh, okay. I know my favorite. My favorite would be a Game Boy Advance. Oh, GBA? Yep. Even though uh, I mostly played my Game Boy Advance games because uh, I, I bought a DS right after. Uh, it was kind of a smaller screen, too, but I should have just kept the Game Boy Advance. But you know how uh, the DS can play Game Boy Advance and DS yeah. games? Yeah. Yeah, so I uh, I bought a lot of the... Uh, I, I remember I bought a lot of the... Um, so they brought back, uh, they had a new Metroid, they had a new, uh, like, Gunstar Heroes. I don't know if you guys remember all those. They brought a lot of back, a, a, lot, a lot of the 16-bit era uh, genres uh, and franchises back on the Game Boy Advance. Mm -hmm. oh. They had a lot of Mega Man, they had a lot of, uh, they had a Castlevania, they had uh, 
all those games. So that's, that's what makes it my favorite. Even though I, I still like the, I like the DS too, but a Game Boy Advance gets a notch up above it. I always thought the Game Boy Advance was like a um, super Super Nintendo. They had all the Super Nintendo games on it, yeah. but made it even better, right? Made them uh, graphically better because I believe it had a 32-bit processor. I but they never really did true 3D. I saw, I saw like a Game Boy Advance did have a 32-bit processor, but I think what they did was they went the Saturn route, where the Sega Saturn they had a they had more, yeah, for more for 2D. But then they added a 3D one, uh, 3D processor last minute because of they were scared of Sony, right? So Sony had all 3D, so they had, so the Saturn had to add some kind of 3D specs. But the yeah. Game Boy Advance was all 2D mostly, and I think they did it right. Um, the, I kind of wish that's the route that the Saturn went to see how the battle would have been in the end. But I mean, I think everybody was all into 3D at the time, anyways. So it was a done deal. Oh yeah, they used it for 2D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good pick. Good pick. Yeah. So now, sticking with the retro theme, we're gonna come up with another game. Of course, like last week, with twenty questions, um, we'll come up with something else week to week. Hopefully, I can think of something else. <laughs> we'll see. But for this week, we're gonna do twenty questions again with another retro game. So remember, the rules are: you guys get to ask questions. And to find out what the game is. Once you find out what the game is, make sure that's your final decision. Because w- once you ask that question, can, you, can, can we can we have a new rule though? Can you start out with like one hint that would like help hint. us? You know? Yes, it's like, a video game and it's a retro yeah. game. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if it was like, like I was like thinking about today's start. game? You know, like a new game coming out or whatever. You know. So this is a retro game for sure, one hundred percent. The, the game it's on is on a system that is no longer being made, right? Oh, okay. Right? Isn't that every retro game? <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Hey, that's true. Okay. I'll give you that. And it's a video game, okay? <laughs> okay. But well, that's the point of 20 questions. You're supposed to ask, you know, the good questions to make to narrow it down. No, but you got to, like, steer us the right way, you know? I like, will, you gotta, but last like, time you got it pretty quick, okay? Last somewhere. time you got it, you guys got it in, like, um, 14 questions, okay? So <laughs> but we have to, so we have to get to 20 questions. 20 questions. Is what you're saying. So you get, you get, get 20, questions, 20 questions, and you get one more question to ask what the game is, if you get to 20, of course. Okay, okay. all right. Okay. All right, so let's begin. What's your first question? <laughs> uh... does, it, does it have gratuitous sex in it? There is no. That's a good question because uh, Mass Effect did right, and I could consider the Xbox One or 360 out of the question. But no, there is no sexual <laughs> anything sexual in this game. Well, no, there is none. Uh, retro, huh? Uh, also, one more hint. Is that every uh, every one of us has played this game? Okay, that helps. Does it have turtles in it? Turtles? You mean like in track and field? No. <laughs> Wait, track, track and field. field. <laughs> turtles, turtles, right? No turtles. Turtles. Oh, turtles. Tortuga. Tortuga. Like, like. Wait, are you talking about like any type of turtle? Well, anyway, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, no. There's no turtles in this. Um, feel free to feel free to ask your next question, oh, Philip. Okay. Um, <laughs> is it uh, cartoony? I would say if you're t- talking in the vein of Japanese animation, as cartoony as well, then yes. Okay, so it's anime. It's an anime type thing. Uh, does the game have like a main uh, like protagonist, like a main character that like you know everybody knows? Um. Yes. By name. By name. I would say you know, yes. By name. Yes and no. That's a harder question because. Ah, uh, yes and no. The reason why is there are characters in the game that you can pick from that people will recognize and others who will not. 
So that's a hint there too. Okay, okay. so there's no one main protagonist. Are there zombies no? in it? Um, you know there were, there is, but it does not put. It's not in the game a lot, but there is on one level. So, yes. Oh, wow. Okay, is the game 2D or 3D? Um, It's 3D. 3D, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, is, uh, I, guess okay. we could go, I guess we could go into the genre. Is it uh is it a shooter? Yes. Oh goodness. <laughs> um, uh, the shooter retro game. Three D, remember. Yep. So we're talking 3D. about like most likely PlayStation and up. Uh, there's only zombies on one level. Uh, oh, there's zombies? That was a yes? You said one level, there's a zombie. Oh, or one there's level, zombies. there's a zombie. Um, are there monsters in it? Besides the zombies, no. Oh. Um, Logan. This is hard. Um, questions, guys. It's not that bad right now. It's what? We're at eight. Yeah, you're only at eight. It's you have twelve questions to go. You have a lot. I mean, is it a really is it a Jap is it a Japanese game? A Japanese developed game? Yes. Oh. Is it made by Capcom? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Getting closer. <laughs> Ten more questions. Damn, I, I really don't know. I, I need a lot of help uh, from Logan today. It's okay. Uh, you get closer and closer. Well, hey, I'm was sorry. It, was it was it on Dreamcast? Wait, wait, let's go back to the previous question. When you said is it a Capcom game, right? Yeah. It was published by Capcom. Oh but damn it. It is still a cap I would still say yes. Um, most people will think of this as a Capcom game, no matter what, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, so, I mean, even though the true developer is somebody else, Capcom probably just, you know, paid someone to do it. But no one will ever think that. I didn't even think that, so. So what was is the main question? protagonist? Oh, wait, yeah, actually, Logan had a question. Yeah, what was your Logan next question again? Question. Um, so it's a shooter. Uh, I think you were gonna, about to ask what system it was on or something, right? I, uh, oh, I said, yeah. is it on? Did, did they release it on Dreamcast? Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, I have a guess, but I, I don't want to use it yet. You can talk with uh, CeeLo if you guys feel like it's their correct guess. CeeLo, do you have a guess? No. I mean, I was going to ask, is the main character a, a man or a woman? Um, it depends because you can select through different protagonists. So oh, I would fuck. say that's not really a good question. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't have any <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> um. So you could select. You she could select from multiple characters. Uh. Would you say the the character select is? Uh, more than two? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The multiple oh, characters. Oh, I think I maybe thought of what it is. Uh, <laughs> do the, okay. Do the main characters wear suits? Well, they have clothing on, yes. <laughs> like, like no, it's specific, Brian. Suit. You mean like, like if they're on a team or something, like uh, they're all wearing the same uniform, no, like, like Men in Black, black. like Men in Black. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Uh, they all look 
significantly different. Uh, Very different. <laughs> I'm just going through the list of Capcom games on Dreamcast. That's what You're I'm not supposed to go on Google. Yeah, <laughs> like, in my head. Search. <laughs> no, in my head, I'm going through a list of like Capcom uh, published games. Uh, is is it a shoot 'em up? Yeah, it's a sh- it's a shooter. Yes. No, 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 but there's a difference between a shoot 'em up and a shooter, right? Like, uh, oh, so I know you can what you're ask, talking so you about. It's like a question. cross. You know, like yeah, you know, like the like top contact. down or uh, like yeah, horizontal or vertical uh, shoot 'em ups. You know, like yeah. no, like Gradi, yeah, like Gradius so or uh, is Life Force. Is, is it like those type of games? Is it a shmup shoot 'em up? If it's if you're talking about like Gradius, Life Force, or anything like that, no. Yeah. No, right. No, right. Okay. Is it like a platform shooter, or kind of like how like Contra is? No. And Gunstar Heroes. No. Okay. Remember, we said it was a three D. Uh, Dreamcast, Dreamcast, Dreamcast. Oh, do I own this game? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you own this game. Okay, do you own this game? I used to. You used to? So I can say I did. Did I ever play this? We all played. We can even rephrase this, okay? No matter what. The main hint I gave you was we all played this when we were younger. All of us. Oh! So, you have a guess? So we had either we owned it, played with one another, or something like that, okay? Okay, does it have robots? Yes. Oh, he knows it. Go ahead. If you know it, go ahead and guess. Yeah, I trust you. One more is... questions before you have to have your guess. Okay. I have a question. Oh, yeah, I have another question. Uh-huh. Is there a Street Fighter character in the game? Yes. Okay, I know it. You know, he knows it. Okay. So. Ken Ken and Spike. Yes. (laughs) It's the one game CeeLo sold for like uh, five bucks. And right now it's worth like uh, $300, $400. It's so rare. I thought that was a nice symmetric game. Isn't it a nice well, it's, in, it's a top view game, but yeah, it's all in 3D. Um, but yeah, it's a multi, It's kind of like Smash TV. And um, well, that's it. That's all I have for this episode um, on Beho Reviews. Next week, we'll probably talk about something else, hopefully. We'll see what else is in the gaming news and the gaming market and see what's going on in uh, gaming. Ciao. Arrivederci. Damn. Uh Yeah Uh Yeah